Hey, my, my name is Darren Melton. Um, this is my first video on YouTube. Thought I'd come on and uh, try to start my little channel here. Glad you joined in to watch. Basically, what I'm wanting to do with this channel is maybe have some unboxings. Um, just a variety of things. Maybe uh, for vacation and stuff, I'll be going out and filming some things and just different things. Uh, I do spray paint art. I may have a few spray paint videos coming out. Uh, I do I go to Comic Cons, maybe some videos from Comic Cons. Uh, just a number of things that I'm planning on doing with this channel. So hopefully you'll like it. Uh, today, what I've done, I went out and got a couple of pops. I'm going to show those off. The first one is this one. I bought it today at uh, Barnes & Noble. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's from Game of Thrones. It is a Fall 2018 Convention Exclusive Limited Edition. Uh, Beric Dondarian. I guess that's his name. Uh, so, I'm going to put that up here with the rest of my stuff. And then I got a second pop. Also, Funko Pop. I only got this one because I liked it. Uh, I mean, I'm not a big South Park fan, but it's from South Park. But I actually like the pop. Mr. Hanky. The Holiday Edition. So, um, maybe some of y'all could tell me what it's worth. Boxes are in excellent condition. Put that up there. And also, I got uh, an unboxing to do. I just got my uh, December 2018 AMC The Walking Dead Supply Drop Box in today. I'm going to unbox that here in just a few minutes. Uh, I, I mentioned to you that I do spray paint art. I'm going to show you a couple of my pieces here that I've done. I don't know how good you'll see them or not, but this is one of them that I've done here a while back on a large, pretty large canvas. So, I do sell my art on Etsy. You can find me under uh, Fine Art by Darren. Now, uh, Darren is spelled D-A-R-I-A-N. Um, a couple other ones. There's another one that I've done recently. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. Just hope you like that. Stuff. You can find me on Facebook under uh, Timeless Creations by Darren or you can find me on Instagram Darren underscore on underscore Etsy I may change the name of that one here later but let's get to the, the most important part of the evening the unboxing of the new supply drop box but before I do let me show you one of the other paintings that I've done I don't know if you can see that or not with kind of a Halloween theme, Grim Reaper, three headstones, a noose hanging from the tree. I like it. And several other people do, but art's just one of those things that's hard to sell. They they don't want to pay the pro they don't want to pay the price that it's worth. <laughs> but anyways, maybe some of y'all like it and want to hit me up if you want to buy it. Just feel free to ask. Now let's go ahead and get on with this. The Walking Dead Supply Drop Box, December 2018. I have no clue what they sent this month, this quarter. But basically, you pay like $49.95 plus shipping and handling. Uh, it's automatic renewal every three months. They'll charge your account and they will send you a box. I just started it the last quarter. 
the September box. Really liked it. So I thought I'd get another one and see how it goes. But anyways, this is the box it came in, the brown box. Let's see if I can get this out of here. And they always pack it in a nice pretty box every year. This is, there's the one for this year. Kind of a Christmas sweater look to it. And it says from the AMC Walking Dead Supply Drop. So let's, see, let's see if I can get this out of here. People collect these boxes too. Throw that down there. There's the back of it. The sides don't open dead inside. I thought that's pretty cool. And then on the side there and oh wow i like this this side right here the wings on daryl's vest big walking dead fan i am so the box is pretty cool so let's go ahead and see what's inside if i can open it and each each description comes with the t-shirt also and when I open the box, it's the first thing that's up here is a t-shirt. I really like the last quarter's t-shirt. Let's see if this one, I, let's see if I like this one. Oh, it's not t-shirt. It's not t-shirt this time. It's a sweater. A hoodie. Awesome. Skull up there with a couple of arrows, like Daryl Dixon. Yes, got the two pockets down here. I don't know if you can see it very well or not. Got the two pockets, and like I said, it's a hoodie. It's not really a T-shirt this year. This this one, I was expecting a T-shirt. But I guess they figure since it's cold this time of year. They would send a, a hoodie instead of a t-shirt. Side says, fight the dead, fear the living. Let's see if I can get that out where you can see it a little bit better. I probably wear this a lot during the winter. I really like that. See what the back looks like. Oh, love the back. Love the back. I'm a big fan of Daryl, and uh, you don't know why I love the back of it as soon as you see it. Daryl's wings, and now the stuff that comes in these uh, supply drop boxes. They're all, they're exclusive to the box. You can't get them anywhere else besides the box. I don't understand. So let me uh, set that over here. Let's see what else we got in here. A hoodie of The Walking Dead. Not a hoodie, but a beanie. It says The Walking Dead up there. I don't know how well you can see it. There you go. Maybe you see that. Nice little uh, beanie hat. Keep you extra warm with the hoodie. Next item. Wow, this is cool. It's an official prop replica. Remember the episode, the backstory to Morgan, where he was with the other guy? The art of peace? Looks like a, a book from that episode. Kind of open it up and see what it looks like. A little handbook of Moriai Yushurba, translated by John Stevens. the 
dead for the living. Got a little bookmark with it. Inside says, for the living. This side says, for the dead. And it's just the little pocket size handbook like Morgan used in the episode. Just different pages full of stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, little uh, movie prop replica. That's that's pretty awesome. I, I kind of like it. Because I, I, I was a huge fan of that episode. And uh, to have a replica prop from that episode, that's pretty cool. Close that back up. The Art of Peace. AMC's The Walking Dead official prop replica. After losing his life, wife, and son, Morgan was determined to clear the post apocalyptic world of walkers, people, or anything that got in his way. The only thing that stopped Morgan from destroying himself was Eastman. Eastman's the guy's name. I Almost forgot that guy. He done a really awesome job. Whoever played him, I can't think of his name right offhand, but it'll come to mind later. Um, and the book Eastman gave him. Eastman teaches Morgan Aikido, and through his studies, it's kind of hard to read. It's real small print, so I have a hard time seeing it. But it says. And through his studies of the art of peace, Morgan embraces a new life philosophy and compassionate attitude. All life is precious. I like that. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's see what we got next. It's my dog complexity. Pen pals. It's got a couple pins, Carol and Ezekiel. I don't know if you can see those or not. I'm just getting a kind of a glare there, but let's see if I can get it out of the glare. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool if you like pins. I'm not a big pin wearer, but I, I'll keep these and keep them in the box, you know, just to add to my Walking Dead collection that I have. But, I still like them. They're pretty cool looking pins. Even though I'd never wear them or anything. So. But that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got next. What's this? Bells of Holly. AMC. The Walking Dead Supply Drop. Walker Wrap. I guess it's just like a wrapping paper, I guess. Is what I'm thinking. Maybe. A little late. They got it here the day after Christmas. You know. I, but I, I don't think I would want to destroy any. I just want to add it to my collection. This, I collect uh, Walking Dead memorabilia and stuff like that. Then. Let's see what else we got in here. Looks like a print. Certificate of Authenticity. AMC has issued a certificate of often to authenticate this exclusive limited edition art print by Tracy Ching. Huh. I like art. Y'all know I like art. But it's got so it's got a certificate of authenticity. A little print. I hate to open this up, but I want to see what the print looks like. So I'm going to someone have to open it. Maybe I can seal it back in there once I get it out. It's just an 8x10 print, looks like. It's 
not just on uh, not on photo paper. It's just kind of a cardstock paper. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed. It's not like on photo paper, but I mean that's the print right there, signed by uh, Tracy Ching. Looks like. Tracy Ching is the artist. I like her work though. She does good work. So we have Michonne Daryl and Carol. Six eight six years after uh, Rick left the show, looks like. The newer versions of them. It's pretty cool. It would have been better though if it had been on better paper, I think, but still still a nice print. Thing I'm excited about the most is the hoodie, though. I'm, I'm gonna wear the crap out of that. Uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. So let me see if I can get this back in the uh, plastic now. I don't want to bend that or anything because I, I do like the print. I just wish it was on better paper. And it's cool that it comes with the certificate of authenticity as well. I might have to look this artist up and see if they still have the original of that because I'd like to have the original of that and purchase it from her. I have to look her up. Crazy cheap. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see here. It usually has a something else in it that kind of shows you what's in the box I guess this is it here making sure there's no surprises in the bottom of the box like there was the last time which was cool that surprise was very very cool there's nothing else in the box as you can see that's the inside of it I mean it does say TWD kind of like a Christmas sweater you know little late on getting in here though because of the wrapping paper could have used that to wrap somebody's gift but like I said I, I'm a collector so it'll probably stay in this packaging the whole time I'll probably never take it out never use it you know who knows it might be worth something to somebody one day let's see here and yeah this is pretty much tells you what's inside the box walker wrap uh nothing tells your family and friends hey i really like you like wrapping up their gifts with pictures of rotting corpses staggering walkers exclusive to your supply drop so it's, it's, it's not available anywhere else um we got five different styles of wrapping paper to wow and impress your loved ones now and all year long. So there's five different types of wrapping paper in there. I guess that's the five different types right there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right. The Walking Dead and it being beanie. Looks like they may have different colors and different for different boxes. So. It says, uh, when, watch, when watch takes you out into the cold of the night, you need something to keep your head warm. Luckily, we got the only versions of these double-layer two-tone beanies on the whole planet. You'll get one of three colorways, complete with a false letter patch embroidered on the front. Stay warm, stay alive. Uh, regiftable box. That's this right here. The, the box. Pretty much. Uh, Daryl Dixon winged hoodie. Uh, that's by far my favorite piece in the whole whole box this month. You know, with the box as thick as it was, I was hoping for a, a Funko Pop in there. An exclusive Funko Pop, but didn't get that. Let's see here. Alright, they got uh, the Walking Dead art print. Uh, 
trying to take a look. The little color is off a little bit on that one. But they got a rare print, too. I guess I got the common one, looks like. The orange on top. Maybe, but, uh, I got, yeah, I got kind of the color one. The black and white ones. It's a rare one. There's only one. There's a, only a hundred of them. So only a hundred people that gets the supply drop box gets that uh, rare one, the unique one, which which is pretty cool. I actually like the color one better, but I mean the rare one would probably be worth more later on, which would have been cool to get. So for this exclusive limited edition print, we have commissioned the talent of incredible Tracy Cheen, a Washington, D.C.-based artist who has a knack for bringing the screen to life in her work. Certificate of Authenticity is included with the vibrant yet eerie print of Michonne Darrell and Carol from Season 9, which I like the print. I mean, I'd like to find her and see if she's still... If she got the original, I'd like to have the original. And then there's the pen pals, Daryl and Carol, or Daryl, not Daryl, but Carol and King Ezekiel. I'm still wishing for a Dare Care situation, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, of course, the art uh, piece. And that's pretty much it in this, uh, this month's pretty good. I like the hoodie instead of the t-shirt, you know. I, even though I was hoping for a t-shirt, but I like the hoodie. I mean, but I still, I like t-shirts better. I'm I'm not a long sleeve type person, but I will wear it. And that and this is by far the coolest thing in the, the box this month. So, with that being said, I think I'm gonna uh, get off here. I don't know, uh, I hope you like this channel. I just want to ask you to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next video. I know I got some uh, Funko Pops that I ordered that's coming in pretty soon. So I might get out and do another video on those. Show you what I got. Kind of unbox them in front of you. And uh, who knows who's know what to come. I'm going to... I'm going to call this a variety show. I, like I said, I may do some uh, spray paint art in the near future. i got to wait till it warms up a little bit um, because I have to do it out in the garage because the fumes are too bad to do it in the house. But um, I'll probably do some of that. And like I said, when I go to a Comic-Con, I'll, I'll record some videos, stuff. I'm thinking about calling the channel Variety Show Uncut. Because I do not know how to edit videos. <laughs> Something for me to learn in the future. You know, so I can get a little bit better at this. Have a little bit better uh, video for you to watch. I mean, I hope you like episode one. Um, again, um, look me up on Facebook. Uh, Timeless Creations by Darren. I put up all my paintings on there. Show you what I have. Um... I'm on Instagram, Darren underscore on underscore Etsy for now. May be changing that in the future. Um, as I'm starting to get into uh, buying and reselling toys, uh, flipping toys, you know. Let's just see here. Let me uh, turn this around. Right now, I, I just started doing this. I'll probably keep one of each for myself. You know, as a collection, but I have uh, quite a few pops that I bought already within the last couple weeks. Uh, I'm gonna try to sell them. So most of them try to make a little bit of a profit. It won't be much of one, but uh, every little bit helps me in my collecting. You know, I keep all my Walking Dead stuff. Anything that I get with Walking Dead, I'm gonna keep. I won't resell it. Might in a few years. Who knows? But uh, I'm a big Walking Dead fan, as you can tell. And so far, I, 
you know, I, I, I like the box this month. I mean, the art of peace is pretty cool. Um, the prop replica, the beanies, freaking awesome. It's going to be warm. Feels warm. The hoodies, probably really awesome. It's freaking awesome. I wasn't, wasn't expecting a hoodie. You know, like I said, I, you know, it's supposed to be a t-shirt, they say. But I guess they decided to give us something warm for the winter. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I definitely wear that on my days off. As you can see, I work for the Postal Service. It's a full-time job. So, I mean, I'm not going to have a regular schedule for my videos. I mean, it's just when I get something, you know, I unbox it in front of you. You know, I buy handmade stuff. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, that was a that's a blooper. <laughs> but anyways, I, I buy handmade stuff off of Etsy all the time. You know, I buy my supplies off of Etsy. You know, and I belong to a few Etsy groups on uh, Facebook, and uh, we buy from each other all the time. So if I get something from them, I unbox it in front of you and give my critique of it my review of it and uh, give you the link to their shop as well it's mine uh, you know just stuff like that you know when I go to comic cons be awesome to do some filming in there maybe even get an interview uh, I'm, a, I'm a good friend of a guy that was in season four of The Walking Dead and uh, next time I see him we're supposed to be doing a movie together pretty soon I mean uh so when I when I see him, I might get him to do a little interview session, bring him on my channel for a little bit, and let you know a little bit about him. But yeah, he was on season four of The Walking Dead. Pretty cool guy. Pretty cool guy. I enjoyed him. I met him, I guess, a couple years ago at a uh, comic con here in my hometown, Paragould, Arkansas. And, uh, but we became friends ever since then, you know, at, at the time I was, uh, involved with a wrestling organization called Out of Control Wrestling, and, uh, he loves wrestling, and, uh, got him there, we got, we got him trained, he actually done some wrestling with us, you uh, know, I had a match against him one time, I, we was, uh, you know, I was his friend and everything, and then, one weekend while he was down there with us at our show, I turned against him, uh, told him I was a better actor than he ever thought about being, and all that good junk, and, uh, but, to make a long story short, I hit him with a cane and broke it across his chest, <laughs> left a bruise mark across his chest, it was kind of funny, uh, but, uh, but then we had a match against each other, it's on YouTube somewhere, there's a, channel called Strictly OCW. You might be able to find it in that channel somewhere where it was me versus him in the side of a steel cage. It was a first blood match. And I got to admit, he got the best of me. I bled first. <laughs> he cut me open. But just a couple months after that, we became friends again. And, and uh, we're fixing to be... Uh, Actually, we're going to be in a movie together here pretty soon. We're, we hadn't started filming yet, but it's going to start filming here pretty soon. So, I'll tell you more about that in some future videos as soon as I get uh, information to release it. So, but, like I said, I, got, I, I thought I got picked up a couple pretty cool pops today. One of them being exclusive to a 2018 fall convention. Exclusive, it was, a, it was a shared piece with Bar Barnes and Nobles, and then I don't know if Mr. Hanky ever go up in value or not, but I just thought it was cool and I just had to have it right there. Mr. Hanky from South Park, I'm not even a South Park fan, and uh, and then I had Beric Dondarian, I think that's how you pronounce him, Game of Thrones. He's got a he's got a flame in there. I looked it up. I paid like ten bucks for it. I looked.
looked it up on uh, Stashipedia a while ago. Looks like they're going for like 20-something, so I guess it's a pretty good score. You know, uh, I hear Game of Thrones is an awesome show. Hadn't watched it. Hadn't watched any of it. It's not on Netflix. Um, Sling T is Sling TV. I got Sling TV. The very first episode is on there, and I watched it and I liked it. I guess I'm just gonna have to go out and buy the DVDs to see the rest of it. Um, but I heard it's a really good show and that I would like it. Yeah, especially since I'm a big Walking Dead fan, they said I, they think that I would like the Game of Thrones. Tell me what you think about it. Let me know in the comments. Comment. Hit that subscribe button if you like the if you like this first episode. And hopefully we'll see you soon. I know I got some more Funkos coming in. Some of them are pre-ordered, and uh, one of them. It was from a movie that I really liked, and uh, I think it's going to be a real one. I actually got the the common version and the chase coming for that. Uh, another TV show that I liked that I've recently found, started watching. I think it's the first set they've done of this TV show. It's a, it's a pre-order also. So hopefully that will be coming in the next couple months. I'm really excited to see it. It's a comedy. I don't know. If you, you might guess what it is. Especially if you're a Funko collector. You probably know what it, I'm talking about. But uh, I like the show. I like comedies. And, uh, and I think it will be a, a cool set to add to my collection. It's supposed to have one chase with it. Uh, in the set, and it's supposed to be coming with the set that I ordered. So, hopefully it turns out to be good. I, I'll probably keep that one for a while. Who knows, maybe later on I'll sell it. But, uh, let's see you on the flip side. Hope you come back. Hope you subscribe down below. And uh, hit that little bell so you get notifications when I put a new video up. And, uh, like I said, we'll see you on the flip side. Have a good night. Adios.